day at Forever TV. I'm your girl, La Vervitian, here at the premiere of the movie I Am Nazi. Nazi. Now, this movie is very interesting. You have a lot of stars in this movie. Daryl Lay playing a therapist. I mean, who would have seen that coming, right? Now, the movie is about a young artist whose life gets uh, turned upside down when she gets, gets uh, swapped with her double ganger to a life that has no glitz and no glamour. Now, what would you do in that situation? I am sure that's what we're about to find out here tonight. Now stick with me, let's go chat with a few people. I wanna know how yes. you yes, and IK yes. on the same set yes. were able to work together. What kind of weary things Okay, so a lot did of weary happened, but the craziest part of this is that Ike and I did not even get to, we're not, um, you know how it is when you get on a set and you have like different scenes, scenarios, happenstances. So my character as the therapist, who was very crucial to the climax of the story. Yes, yes, I go tell you, no. Calm down, Will. I'm the therapist too. <laughs> it will shock you, wealth of experience. You know when they say you're a superhero, but when do the superheroes get saved themselves? Mm -hmm. So I am one of such people who all my friends run to with all their problems. This is your blood pressure! Say it after me. Blood pressure. Nah. Say it after me. You are fire. Jesus. Have you seen the trailer? Yes, I have. I've seen the trailer. What are your thoughts? I think that it's uh, a very, it's, it's a comedy mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's so much lessons in it, yeah. so I'm very glad about that. Uh, what I think about it, I think that it will be fun to watch and a lot of people will learn a lot of lessons from it, you know, very subtle, but I think, I think that it will I, be fun. Yeah. You have a lot of your friends in this movie. Yeah. Uh huh. So this combination, what do you expect is going to happen at the end of the day from us watching the movie? When you when you see I Kill Bonet and uh, PJ and then JDK, you know, it's just going to be hilarious. Right. You know, I'm trying to see what they all did in it. Yeah. Have you watched the trailer? Well, yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Uh, and then she knows. So big shout out to she knows. So I'm very, very proud of her. Yeah. Okay. So I'm here to support her. Yeah. <laughs> that guys like to intimidate us you know with the way they wear african wear right i'm like i'm gonna wear it and shove it in their faces how am i doing you look good <laughs> like it's a knockout, it's a knockout. It's thank you so much so about this movie are you part of this movie yes i am spill the beans about your uh, character yeah, spill she it, was spill depressed <laughs> uh, she lost her sister she thought she lost her sister uh -huh. and um she wanted to drink it oh, wow. a lot of drinking and um and that process nobody helped her raise a child the child grew up by herself so i mean but at some point she had to wake up yeah. and had a hundred percent turn around so that means anybody can have a hundred percent turn around so have you watched the trailer of the movie yes i have and it's quite interesting that i believe that's that's part of the reason why i'm here today to see the true story of the movie because i just have a glance of what's it's, um, you know, take place, so I'm here to see it properly. Yeah. What caught your eye? What was the most intriguing part about the trailer that made you like, I have to see this? Uh, the part of the mom and the child, and uh, let me not say it all. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the poster behind you, you have a lot of crazy people in it in one. So if there was one word you could use to describe that many people in one place, what would it be? Ooh. It is fantastic. Fantastic, yes. So I should be looking forward to fantastic. Of course. I mean, this is Chinoso's first film, um, so I'm super excited about that. Kaido Peters as well. This is his production, and he kills all his productions. So, yes, this is definitely going to be. What do you think a woman brings to the table in a relationship? Mm. No, apart from the, you know, as word. I think there's so much more. She brings um, her power, which is the strength, tenacity, um, she brings um, resilience, she brings courage, boldness. I mean, there are a lot of men that, their women are the other, other, the other backbone. backbone. I mean, you would hear a lot of stories. The women are the bone, they are the neck that holds the head up. 
when they ask me what do I bring to the table, I am the table. <laughs> but then there's this nice little twist to it, yeah. And the twist that I want to give to that is from the scripture. So the Bible says that it prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. What do I bring to the table? I bring myself, I bring God, I bring all that he has created me to be to that table. Hey, I can't show up. Yeah, this is my baby, Baba. Okay, that day. Hey. What are some of the key issues that um, society is facing right now that is very rampant in Nigeria that were highlighted in the movie? Oh, first things first, I think mental health is very key. You know, and you see, a lot of us don't know how to approach asking to not necessarily evaluate or assess people's mental health. But you know when someone says, oh, I'm depressed, you say, hey, you'll be fine, you'll get over it. That's a Nigerian oh approach, yes. you know, as opposed to, do you want to talk about it? Yes. Can we go somewhere quiet? Do you feel the need to speak to someone? You just say, ah, is it that depression? You'll be fine, Joe. What's up, y'all? My name is Bolan Nino Lowo, a.k.a. Nino, a.k.a. Makanaki, and you're here watching Afro Revo TV. Keep watching Afro Revo TV.